So guys, today I'm out in the shop and I'm gonna do something just for fun because I gotta pull the motor out of this bug. And I've done several. I'm not a bug mechanic, I'm not that great. I know it can be done faster, but I just wanna see how fast I can pull the motor out of this bug. I think I can do it in under 15 minutes. Let's see what we got. Now guys, I'm not gonna do any editing to this video. I'm just gonna let it run in real time. So there'll be times when I walk away to put parts away or search for tools. And this is not meant to be an exciting, well-edited video. This is just meant to demonstrate how quickly you can pull the motor out of a Volkswagen Beetle. I really just thought this might be something fun to do and people might be interested to see. Right here in the beginning, I'm just pulling ground wires off and unhooking the wiring to the alternator and the, the choke and all those things. So just kind of the simple getting everything out of the way so we can unbolt the motor. One of the things I love so much about the Volkswagen Beetle is the simplicity of all of it. You can unhook the basic wiring, unhook your fuel line and your accelerator cable, and pull the motor out completely intact. Exhaust all still connected, carburetor still on, fan shroud, everything can stay. You just pull it out all as one unit. It's pretty bad when the line to the oil pressure sending unit is one of the most difficult parts of removing the engine. I'm finishing up unhooking the accelerator cable here, and then I am going to be ready to start unhooking the engine. 
and I don't completely unbolt the top side. I loosen them up just a little bit, but I actually want that to be the last thing that I do so that there's something to hold the motor in safely while I'm under the car and unhooking the bottom two bolts. Three minutes, everything in the top. Uh -huh. Safety's in place. Let's pull some bolts. You can tell I'm not a professional Volkswagen mechanic because I grabbed my ratchet and you can't get a ratchet in there. You've got to use a wrench. One little disclaimer here, I had never hooked up my like heater hoses, things like that. So we had a couple of things that were already disconnected because I had never hooked those back up. Might have taken a few extra minutes, but as you can see, I'm not even working very efficiently. So pulling a bug motor out, it's a pretty simple task. So the last bolt that I always undo from underneath is the T 
top driver side bolt, which you do use a ratchet, a little extension to get to usually. Uh, once I get that out, then I've got the one starter bolt still holding the motor in that I can take out from the top side when I lower the bug back down. check the camera screen and see how much time I had left if I was going to make my 15 minute deadline. It's starting to get close. It doesn't help matters that we take the jack handle off to put over our ratchets to turn them into breaker bars. So I had to put the jack back together. And I just grab whatever board is handy to lay on top of the jack, just kind of as extra support underneath the motor. It helps to stabilize it just a little bit when you lower it down. I have changed bug motors in driveways using cinder blocks to prop the car up in the air to get them out. So I am very, very thankful to have a lift for this process. We are showing 14 minutes and 30 seconds on the camera, which means 
we unhooked and pulled the motor in under 15 minutes and i didn't even have any tools out and ready to go in fact i didn't even have a handle on the jack not bad that was kind of fun i was kind of curious how quickly i could pull it out because i've done it a lot guys this was just meant to be a fun little video i hope you guys enjoyed it and appreciate y'all watching y'all have a good day